it was great. I think for me, that what I've taken out of out of that course is it was just to grasp every opportunity that, that you create and also that you can potentially get from UCFB. Hi guys, my name is Mackenzie Cadman, I'm UK Operations Manager at the Jacksonville Jaguars. My current role, and you know, from a day-to-day -day basis, it varies in regards to what month we're in. Um, we've recently just finished two games at, in London, first team to ever come back to back. Um, currently, UK Operations Manager, I essentially head up a lot of the logistics and operations around everything we do throughout the year. Um, that could be a Super Bowl party, it could be a draft event, it could be a summer player tour, um, and obviously games at Wembley Stadium, which is our UK home. Being from the UK and working for a, a US organisation and an NFL team is, is interesting. Um, it's very different. Obviously, from, a, from an organisational perspective, from a business perspective, it's very similar to what a Premier League team would be. They've got the same goals, you know, help, help the community, um, raise money, build revenue, grow fans, win games. Um, but in regards to what it's like, it's, it is a little bit different. The, the, the strategy and the structure of how an organisation in the US is built, obviously there's VP, so vice presidents, senior vice presidents, as presidents. Um, the names and job titles are a little bit different, but in regards to how it differs, obviously I work a lot with the guys in the US. So, you know, time-wise and, and, and the Eastern time compared to the UK time is very difficult. So we can be having meetings at 10 o'clock at night, or we can be having meetings at two o'clock in the afternoon. I started UCFB in 2015 at UCFB Wembley, um, studied international football business. Um, it was great. I think for me, the, what I've taken out of, out of that course is was just to grasp every opportunity that, that you create and also that you can potentially get from UCFB. But in regards to what I learned and what I bring into today is just have confidence. Um, public speaking and the public speaking course I did with Deepak a long, long time ago now um, was tremendous for me and really helped me, you know, lead in meetings, um, take meetings, host calls. So yeah, that's kind of what I've learned. The globalization of American sports in general is just incredible. Um, obviously the NFL and the Jaguars are here in the UK. Um, the NFL have now gone to Germany. You see the MLB come over here, the NBA have previously come over here. I think the, the attraction for, for fans and um, for, for sport fans in general, because you don't have to be a fan of the sport to come and attend the game. Um, we have a lot of fans, you know, attending the Jags games that are Jags fans simply because we've played in the UK so many times, not potentially because they watch us every week, even though we would like them to. Um, it's very much the, the globalization, the merchandise, the food and beverage, the, the event that gets pulled together is very different to what you'd see in a Premier League game or a cricket match or you know a UK rugby game. Um, so I think the globalization, the merchandise and how the, you know, the event is captured, the national anthems before the game, the, the cheerleaders running out. Um, we have a huge Jags head at, at Wembley Stadium, which is great. Um, and it really just makes that attraction even bigger. First got a job at Wembley in the guest services team, worked on all the events across the years from 2015 to 2018, boxing, concerts, um, obviously NFL, football, FA Cup finals, um, Carabao Cup finals. There's, there's, there's a lot of things to get involved in. And, you know, as long as you're proactive and you go out and find your own opportunities and, and really work on, on what's around you, you, you should do well. The thing I enjoyed most is the social side. Um, bit of a big up for the UCFB darts team. That was, that was a big one for me back in the day. Um, I believe they've got three teams now, which is great. We only had one when we started in 2016. Um, yeah, social side. The friends that I, you know, built and even to today, um, I'm best man for one of them in, in a couple of years time, which is, you know, I wouldn't have met that guy if I hadn't have come to UCFB. Um, but yeah, no, it was a great time, really enjoyed it. As I said, the inspirational leaders that, that taught me were, were, were brilliant and you know, kind, kind of led me to where I am today. Um, but definitely the friends you've, you, you build um, and the society, the dark society, get yourself in it if you're not there. I first w walked into this office uh, in 2019 uh, as the team uh, liaison and logistics coordinator. Um, a couple of years later, now I'm the UK operations manager here at the Jags. It's, it's amazing. And I've seen the NFL grow over the last couple of years since 2019 in tremendous ways. Um, as I said, they're now in Germany. I worked a Mexico game, uh, was lucky enough to go to a Super Bowl with NFL fans first. Um, the, the NFL here in this country is growing rapidly. And I think the... Again, going back to the globalization of what the NFL are trying to do, not just here in the UK, in Germany, potentially in Spain, um, over the next couple of years is gonna be very interesting. A couple of weeks ago, we launched or relaunched our Union Jacks Foundation. Um, and again, can't take credit with there's a wider team here at the Jags UK that, that, that have done that, but 
Essentially, we have relaunched our foundation. Um, we are pumping money and pumping donations back into UK grassroots football, essentially, from a flag football perspective. Andy Scott and the Jag Tag team uh, and the guys here at Jags UK essentially have built a number of programs. Um, Jag Tag Extra Time, Jag Tag, um, we go into schools, uh, we go into after school clubs, uh, essentially provide flag football um, courses, lessons and tournaments. Uh, not only just for us, there's 40% of girls participating in our, in our stuff too. So, you know, the foundation really is growing flag football and American football here in the UK. We have now played uh, for 10 years here in London. Recently, we've just finished our 10th year with a game at Wembley. We also obviously played at Tottenham, won both games. Um, but in regards to what we do is very unique. Um, you know, our owner has a big uh, love for, for the UK, um, also has connections obviously with, with Fulham. Um, but no, what we're doing is, is, is groundbreaking. Uh, every year we try and do something bigger and better. Um, and we love coming to the UK. Uh, the players love coming to the UK. The fans love coming to the UK. There's been a lot more people from, from Jacksonville travel over this year as well, which has been great. Um, and f from, from a sporting perspective, I think you'll, you'll go a long way to find an organization that, that are trying to do what we're doing. Um, you never know, there might be another NFL team that go to Germany and do, do a similar thing, but that's yet to come to fruition. But no, you know, here, the Jags, London, it all fits well.